Have you ever noticed that all of my videos are all real estate related? I know what a drag doesn't every realtor do that. We all post real estate all the time, but you know what? I couldn't think of a real estate related idea for a video this week. And instead I thought maybe you would like to get to know me. Maybe not. This could be the worst performing video on my channel, but it kind of sounds fun. So let's do it. So I thought, well, what questions should I ask myself to answer in this video? And so I Googled uh, top questions to ask to get to know a person. I mean, obviously I know how to do that. I do this all day, every day, but asking yourself the questions all of a sudden seems brand new and kind of weird. So Number one, when is your birthday? My birthday is at the end of November. I am a Sagittarius, which if you know, you know, that is a pretty fun person. It's fire sign. Um, I'm also an Enneagram eight, which some people might think that is a little scary, <laughs> but I think that makes me a great realtor. See, bringing it back to real estate <laughs> because I'm detail oriented. I am aware of what the rules are. I appreciate it when people follow the rules. And when you're dealing in contracts, there's a lot of rules there. So I am also like a dog with a bone, Enneagram eight. And, um, you know, when somebody does something that me or my clients don't like, we're going to make sure they fix that. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite animal? Well, hmm, currently I would have to answer Murphy, my Jack Russell terrorist. He is currently taking a nap. He was bothering me a few minutes ago, and I assume he'll be bothering me in a few more minutes. But right now we have a reprieve from my favorite animal. Uh, what do I do for a living? Duh, I sell real estate in Des Moines, Iowa. Are you in school? No, I sell real estate, so I didn't have to go to school. <laughs> Although actually I taught a class earlier today, so I'm not in school, but I was in school training other real estate agents on real estate. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Well, I could travel anywhere in the world. I just don't want to. Um, I'm kind of a homebody actually. So I wouldn't mind going somewhere warm where there was a swimming pool or a beach. I used to live in Florida and I love just like chilling by the pool, but I also don't love traveling. Like the amount of time that it takes to get somewhere. And I always get sick from being on a plane. Like I catch a cold and I know I could wear a mask and it would be totally fine, but I'm sure I would still get, it's, it's just, it's, it's a process and, um, yeah, traveling's just not my jam. I guess if there was a real Hogwarts to visit, I could go there maybe. Oh, I should just go to Disney world. <laughs> it's warm. There's probably a swimming pool and I can go to the Harry Potter land at universal studios. What was your favorite school subject? Hmm. Recess. <laughs> oh, my favorite school subject. You know, I'm one of those annoying people that did well in school without having to do an actual lot of learning. So hmm, yeah, not a big school fan. Um, is watching TV a good answer to this question? I can't even think it's been so long since I've been in school. I can't even remember what school was like. I suppose like English because we could read and write and I love reading. I don't mind writing, but yeah, I'm really coming at a blank here. So what was your favorite subject in school? How about that? <laughs> Do you have a small or a big family? Well, I have a small family. So my personal family is my husband and myself and our dog Murphy previously mentioned favorite animal. And then I have a small family that I come from, which, you know, mom and dad, and my brother, and then my brother has a wife and two kids. So our small family has gotten bigger, but it's not really a huge family. So, and then, you know, various aunts and uncles and cousins, 
Uh, overall, I would say it's probably considered a small family, but I love them dearly. Every weirdo in the bunch. Ooh, what genres of music do you like best? Here's a fun fact. I am not very good with music. Like I listen to music. You know how some people read and they read words backwards and they're dyslexic. <laughs> I think my ears are dyslex dyslexic. There's probably a real name for it, but when I listen to music, if it's like a new song that I'm listening to, I swear I cannot understand the words. So when I'm in my car, I'm usually probably listening to a podcast or like a playlist from the nineties, early two thousands. So the music that I do listen to, I mean, I love lots of genres. If I know the words to the song, <laughs> <laughs> country music is actually pretty easy to, uh, listen to the words. So, you know, if it's like nineties, two thousands country music, I know those words. Um, of course, pop music, if it's like mainstream top 40, I probably am familiar with that. And, you know, I'm kind of basic when it comes to music. So easily impressed if I'm having people over, depending on who it is, I might ask Alexa, you can't say that very loud because she'll interrupt everything you're doing because she's such an eavesdropper, but I might ask, you know, who to put on like maybe an eighties playlist, or I really like yacht rock. Do you hear that? Like, she's like, what do you want? <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty random when it comes to music. Oh, but you know, my favorite band is Motley Crue. I can't believe it took me that long to think of it. My old, my previous dog, my previous favorite animal was named Nikki six. She was a rock star. How do you spend your free time? Well, reading, watching TV, chilling at home. I cook a lot. Um, you know, it's, it's easy to get really overweight when you eat out all the time. So we try to limit that and we make dinner at home frequently. So the, that's what I do. I'm just kind of vegging. That's not very exciting. I feel like this video is not going to make me many friends. <laughs> Are you a morning or a night person? If you have known me for 30 seconds or more, you know that I am not a morning person. When closings are scheduled for 9 a.m., I'm like, oh my God, could we reschedule that? <laughs> you know, it's just one of those things. I've always been a night owl and now being self-employed and working in real estate, it's much easier for me to get things done at night versus getting up early. Today, I got up at seven in the morning and I could really use a nap. <laughs> what is your favorite food? Hmm. I like a lot of food. Um, I, huh. It kind of depends. Like I love tacos, but not at a restaurant. I don't really love, <laughs> I, I like my American tacos. Like in Mexico, I did not love real authentic tacos, <laughs> but I love the tacos that I grew up on, which were homemade in an Iowa kitchen, 100% American. Uh, I love pizza. Who doesn't love pizza? Um, I love bread, but I'm trying to get off the carbs. Oh, and I love cake and cookies, and, but again, carbs trying to get off of them. So I really need to tell myself, I hate those things, <laughs> but yeah, uh, tacos, pizza, carbs, I'm into it. What is your favorite movie or TV show? Well, all right, let's talk about TV shows. So the TV shows that would be favorite castle. Do you remember that with, um, God, what's his name? Nathan Fillion. I love castle. And so I own every season of castle and I periodically watch it every year. I didn't even watch it when it was on TV. It was one of those shows where I couldn't sleep. And at three in the morning, I turned on the TV when we had like regular TV and I just caught on to one of those episodes that was like ingrained in the whole nine seasons that it was on. And, you know, so like I 
I wanted to know how this mystery ended. How did they solve this mystery of who killed her mom? And um, so at the time it wasn't streaming on any like Hulu or whatever. So I ended up having to buy all of the seasons <laughs> in order to catch up on Castle, which was actually an old show by the time I started watching it. So then of course, uh, every Monday, my husband and I watch Newcastle, which is actually called The Rookie with Nathan Fillion, but it's kind of like Newcastle. And um, that's not really the greatest show, but it does give you a little bit of castle flavor. Um, other shows that I love and I love to rewatch them are burn notice. I used to live in Florida. And so I love getting the little flavor of Florida. Plus that's, it's kind of a fun show. Like he's a burned spy. I like it. Um, oh, coming up with these on the spot. Let's see castle burn notice. I'm watching NCIS right now. Um, I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite shows, but I'm watching it it's good. My husband could probably answer this faster than I can, but I'm sure castle would come up at the top of the list. So we'll leave it at that. And as far as movies go, oh, my favorite movie. It, I mean, they're all like, it's hard to have just one favorite, isn't it? Um, if I had to pick just one favorite, I would probably choose runaway bride with Julia Roberts and Richard Gere, which is basically pretty woman too. <laughs> I love that movie. I waited for it to come out for so long and it's just got a special place in my heart. It, it's kind of a dumb movie. I mean, it, it has no bearing on anything. See, once again, proving I'm a very shallow person. So other movies that I love and anytime they're on, I will rewatch it. True Lies with Jamie Lee Curtis and Arnold Schwarzenegger. That is a great movie. Uh, just when you think it's over and it had a good ending, like it, gives you like an optional ending. That's even better. It's wonderful. Um, hmm. Now I've mentioned a few shows and a few movies, and I can't think of anything, but the ones I've already said. So those are my answers for now. But if we were to meet in person, my answers might change. So feel free to ask me if I have any updated favorites. <laughs> Do I speak more than one language? No. Although no means no in several other languages. So, but no, I actually only speak English. What is your favorite holiday? Oh, I love any holiday that I don't have to work or travel. I don't think that's a day. <laughs> so last year for Thanksgiving, actually, I didn't have to travel. So my parents used to host Thanksgiving every year. And then a couple of years ago, they decided, well, that's it. We're done hosting Thanksgiving. And so then I had it one year, my brother had it one year and then COVID happened and we just all sort of stopped with Thanksgiving. So on Thursday, Thanksgiving, I slept in a little bit. I watched the Macy's Thanksgiving day parade, which is nowhere near as good as an adult as it was when I was a kid. Isn't that interesting how nothing is as good as an adult. And then, um, I think we just kind of hung out at the house and, uh, what did we do? Did we watch, I like to watch theme shows. Oh, friends. That's another favorite TV show. So on Thanksgiving, I will watch Thanksgiving episodes of friends. And I think we had a friends marathon and I'm pretty sure I fell asleep in season eight Thanksgiving episode. And then it just sort of played on and on, but, uh, old reruns of friends makes my husband laugh in like, you know, just it's a different laugh than he laughs at other shows. And it's like, I don't know, maybe more sincere or like you're just laughing at an old friend. And I think that's really cute. So, uh, yeah, friends is another show that, that, uh, I'll rewatch a lot. And I like to hear Scott laugh at it. Where did you grow up? <laughs> well, I grew up in Guthrie center, Iowa, which is a small town about an hour West of Des Moines. And if you know me at all, you know, that somehow the world revolves around Guthrie Center. I don't understand it. One time I was in Minnesota, uh, in, in Minneapolis, which is kind of a big metropolitan city and ran into somebody from Guthrie Center. 
I can be in Las Vegas and run into people from Guthrie Center. Anytime we go somewhere, I'll run into somebody I know. And there's like 1600 people that live in this town. It is very small. And yet I'll be like, oh, they're (laughs) so-and-so. They lived down the street from me when I was growing up. And maybe it's like that for everybody who's from a small town, but my husband consistently rolls his eyes at me because he thinks I and Guthrie Center are ridiculous. (laughs) And the last question what is the skill you would most like to learn? Which if I were asking this question of somebody, some stranger that I just met at like a networking party or something, I mean, this is getting a little personal, (laughs) but guess what? I have a skill that I would most like to learn. I would love to learn how to sew. I have a sewing machine. I have a bunch of fabric. I have thread. I have all of the things to be a sewist. I know just enough to like do a hack job on just about anything. I watch TikToks and reels. I love watching anything sewing related. There are so many talented people making amazing things. At one point in my youth, I actually thought I wanted to be a clothing designer. I wanted to, I wanted to solve tall girl problems. And then I realized, well, short girls have the same problem and then skinny girls and not skinny girls. So like, we all think that we have these horrible clothing fit problems and that if only the grass were greener on the other side, when the reality is, I think we all think exactly the same about our clothes, that nothing fits us right because designers don't know what they're doing. So I was going to do that. But the problem is, uh, I am not creative at all. So when it comes to drawing or dreaming up designs of things, terrible, no creativity in that aspect. I'm much better at critiquing than I am creating. So, at, so now the videos that I watch, like on Instagram or TikTok or wherever, um, they're on like a lot of them are on upcycling clothing. That's really trendy right now. And so people will take a men's shirt and make it into a, you know, what do they do? They cut it up and maybe mix it with another men's shirt. So now you have like a color block shirt. And of course, then they can, they do all these amazing things. Like I can't even describe it. This video is not about sewing, but that is a skill that I would love to learn. And it just takes time and patience. And another favorite movie is happy Gilmore. So remember happy Gilmore when he is yelling at the golf ball, don't you know where your home is? That's kind of how I am when playing golf and sewing. Like I just want to jam it done. And that is not a personality trait that bodes well when you are sewing or golfing for the record. So yeah, that is, that's the skill that I would most like to learn. And maybe one day, maybe I will tire of watching other people do it on videos and actually learn how to sew for myself. Although if you see me show up and everything is asymmetrical in a bad way, it could be a sign that I finally learned how to make a garment poorly. (laughs) So that's it for the list of questions that I found when I Googled, Ooh, did you hear that? That's Murphy. He's ready for mommy to pay him some attention for the list of questions that I Googled on how to get to know somebody. Uh, these were the ones that I felt totally appropriate answering. And, um, yeah, so that's, that's a little insight as to who I am, what I like, what I'm about and really has nothing at all to do with real estate. But if you think, Hey, that's my girl, I Murphy, I am trying to record a video. Would you please give us some space? But if you were to think that's my girl, I want to talk to her about buying a house or selling a house, I would love to talk to you too. So I will also include a link below where you can schedule a call with me. So I hope that this was entertaining for you. And you know what? I would love to hear what your favorite TV show and movies are. I I, TV shows and movies, because I gave multiple uh, answers up until the very end of this video. So what is your favorite shows and movies? I want to (laughs) know.